we are going to talk about the spinal cord now, the other part of the central nervous system. And we're gonna take a cross section, um, starting with the whole thing with the inner vertebrae. Um, and you've seen the anatomy of vertebrae in lab. So from this cross section, you can tell this is your posterior or dorsal side, right? And this is anterior. And the easiest way to recognize that, I think, is this is your spinous process, which you can often feel in your vertebrae. Um, and it's forked here. This is gonna be a cervical vertebrae. That also makes sense with what we have here. This is a transverse foramen. So foramen are holes that are on the sides. Where is the vertebral foramen? We know we have to have one, the big hole um, in the vertebrae where the spinal cord fits. So it's this whole thing, right? Um, everything inside of this bone here. Also to remind you, here's the vertebral body um, and the transverse processes that have facets for the vertebrae adjacent. This is one process here. Then we've got our spinal cord is the part right, this whole thing. Um, so the spinal cord is made up of horns and white matter, horns and columns. We'll see that more in detail. You can see those horns though, right? Horns and then columns are the white matter. We'll go into more detail of that. Um, surrounding the spi spinal cord is three layers of meninges. You know this um, and you know what they are. So pia matter, the one that's closest to the spinal cord. This is the same as the brain, right? That's why you know this. Brain and spinal cord are both surrounded by the meninges, a type of membrane. Um, the second layer is the arachnoid matter. And this has this subarachnoid space next to it where there is um, cerebral spinal fluid is, is located. So that is this right here, is that subarachnoid space with CSF. Arachnoid refers to spider. So it's got spider-like um, kind of connections across this region. There's also a lot of blood vessels in here, which look spidery too, I think. Um, and lastly, for our meninges, we've got this outer, oh, that's not the color I chose. This outer hardest layer is the dura matter. Very hard, not as hard as bone, but fairly hard protective um, layer that actually you can see it does actually encompass the dorsal root. And I think you don't actually know a dorsal root yet, but the ganglion. This is a ganglia right here. This is a collection of cell bodies. That's why it bulges out there. So those three layers are the meninges. One, two, three. Okay, that's it for the spinal cord itself um, and the coverings directly adjacent. Um, I mentioned the ganglia, the dorsal root ganglia right here. One is a ganglia. So <clears throat> we're gonna see these again, but these are called roots that exit the spinal cord and become eventually a spinal nerve. This is our spinal nerve. Um, yeah, you can already see that there's some complexity here. The spinal nerve is actually gonna split into these two different, um, two different pieces. These are actually rami. And then they're gonna kind of reconnect, braid together before they actually form the nerve that innervates a certain muscle, like the femoral nerve. This spinal nerve is um, not synonymous to a specific 
nerve, such as the femoral nerve. We'll see this at the very end of this week. This just introducing these different terms here, mostly being able to recognize from this top view um, the spinal cord coverings, reminder of your vertebrae, and then we've got our ganglia. There's also going to be axons traveling through here to form the spinal nerve. 